Today they're making the most delicious, low calorie, high protein, protein sweet treat snacks that each have less than 200 calories, packed with protein, and only three ingredients. Isn't it crazy that each of these have only around 50 calories and 10 grams of protein? This one minute of peanut butter and chocolate cake takes less than five minutes, has three ingredients, less than 200 calories, and 30 grams of protein. It sounds like it's too good to be true, but I'm gonna give you the macro breakdown so you can see it for yourself. So moist, so good. Mm. If you love milkshake and caramel and pudding, and you got a sweet tooth like me, but you still want 24 grams of protein, let me show you how to make this. Mm. Let's get into it. Our first recipe that we're gonna be making is a yogurt, raspberry, vanilla, icy protein bar. I just came up with that name, but I think I kinda like it. First thing we're gonna be using is some fat-free Greek yogurt. I'm gonna use a cup and a half half a cup, so three of these. That's some quick math right there, is it not? The reason I decided to make these recipes today is because it's Valentine's Day. I'm gonna have some girls come over and we're gonna do a little Galentine celebration. And I thought we should have some protein snacks because all the girls usually like those. And I obviously like those, so I thought it'd be a Pretty good thing. I actually just put this in the freezer for a little bit right before I started filming just so that it's already cold. Cause we gotta put the three ingredients in and then we're gonna put it in the freezer for a little bit just to make it like an actual bar, which it's so great. The second thing we're gonna need is some protein powder and I'm just gonna use this one from One Up Nutrition. It is isolate protein powder. So we're gonna use one scoop of this and I lost the scoop. Does that ever happen to you? I live here by myself, but this is the time where like if I live with someone else, I could be like, Oh, my roommate took the scoop and always tends to do that. But when, when you live by yourself, it's like you can't really blame anyone other than yourself. <laughs> and then I find them in the most random places and still I can only blame myself. I really don't know. Yeah, code, by the way, Pernilla, if you want 20% off of this protein powder because it's delicious. All right, we're gonna just pour that in here. And then we need only one last ingredient. But the last ingredient is a little pretty because it is raspberries. A guy asked me recently, what's your favorite fruit? And I was like, apples, obviously. But then I was like, wait, I think raspberries may actually be up there with the apples. What's your favorite fruit? I love melon too. Ooh, and blueberries. I'm gonna take 15 raspberries. I'm gonna smush those before because I feel like it's not always easy when you do it in the cup with the other stuff. Mm. The good thing is I have all those left over here. So wow, the crush these. We eat the these. Because this is gonna be a little red with the raspberries, it's a good Galentine snack. I should've totally made this before, shouldn't I? The other people could make this for Valentine's, Galentine's brothers, guys. What's it called when guys celebrate Valentine's Day together? Bruh. Guys, it, I don't know. Whatever, we can celebrate love every day. But also, not that you have to be celebrating love just because you are making a red snack, but I'm just saying, you could celebrate love every day. The love for ourselves, love for our family, for our friends, and our partners. For the people out there who's got that going on for them. All right, now we just mix this all around. That's it, that's this recipe. Mm. Also, I set three ingredients to keep it simple. But don't let that stop you from doing other fun things because you could totally put stevia in there, something else you could do that I actually bought for this recipe because I've made it before with this. But then I realized that I wanted this theme of like three ingredients per recipe. But it's this sugar-free vanilla that you could put in there. Mwah. It doesn't even need it. Like, mwah. now we're gonna take a little sheet of baking paper. Place that in our little pan here, and we pour it in. Wow, she ramen today. It was in the freezer for about two hours. And I put this in the freezer for a second. You don't need to do that, but that's for our next recipe. Whatever. Now let's just get straight into it, shouldn't yummy, we? Yummy, yummy. I'm eating the rest of the pack of this raspberry. This next recipe that we're making is a delicious caramelized fluffy pudding that you can make in like less than five minutes. And you can really make it any flavor of your choosing. I mean, actually it's like a mix, the one I'm making, but you can pick your options, do whatever feels right to you. The first thing that you're gonna need is a protein shake. And you can make this yourself with like just blending protein powder and milk, or you can get whatever like protein shake in the grocery store. And that's what I've chosen to do because we were talking about doing a three ingredients situation and so this is only one ingredient right I'm gonna pour that into a blender okay this next that was so close 
We did drop a few drops, but it could have been worse. I've been telling myself to calm down when I'm making these resume videos, but I tend to not listen to myself. Because I feel like you're crooked, and I just wanted to uncrook you. Uncrook you? Is that a word? It just tastes like a milkshake. The next thing that we're gonna need is this sugar-free, fat-free jello. And obviously, there are some not so great chemicals in this, so you can choose to use any other jello that you prefer. This is just what we're using today because we're trying to make locale high protein. I know that's what you guys usually want, so that's what we're doing. This thing of like needing to pick our battles in life, right? And today, this is the battle we're picking. So this is with butterscotch, which isn't that the same as caramel? To me, it tastes the same. I don't know what the difference is. We're gonna use two tablespoons of this, and then we blend that jello needs to like gel in, you know? <laughs> Give it another blend. I switched to a little bit of a bigger blender. Mm. When I'm saying that this pudding tastes better than the milkshake from McDonald's, I am not even exaggerating. I sprinkle a little TV2 on there just for aesthetic purposes. A little too late for, I'm sorry for. Mm. This is so good. This is gonna be your new favorite substitute for ice cream, that's for sure. It actually tastes like the caramel ice cream I used to get at my grandparents' house. Good memories. Okay, we gotta move on. We gotta move on, let's go now. For our third and final recipe, it's gonna be similar to things that we've done before, but with a twist, a very delicious twist. It is a chocolate peanut butter velvet cake, is what I wanna call it, with a little bit of a syrupy dressing, and yes, Three ingredients is only. You already know it. First up, we got our chocolate protein powder. You don't need to get have this one with chocolate and peanut butter blast from One Up Nutrition, even though it is delicious. Because we're gonna add some other chocolate and peanut butter flavor in it as well. So whatever you got is gonna be fine as long as you love it. We're gonna need one scoop. And once again, the scoop is gone. Like who takes my scoops? I found another one. So one scoop of protein powder. Second up, we got this PB2. Also, you don't actually need to use this. It just makes it a, give it a little bit more of a peanut butter flavor. And I'm gonna use one tablespoon. One tablespoon. I just posted a dance video today, the one from my last vlog, actually. And so now that song has been on my mind. Sorry that I sing because my voice is not like singing material. It's more of like a voice you use when you're by yourself in your car or bathroom or something. And I just keep doing it. But you know what? I think we should all sing more because it brings us a lot of joy. We actually just made a podcast episode on this. I was interviewing singer-songwriter Jenny Rebecca. She was sharing a lot of how to develop your creativity and how her creative processes have completely healed her from depression and feeling super low. So you should check that out too if you want to level up your creativity. Okay, last up is one tablespoon of cocoa powder. And you can absolutely add, actually I'm gonna do three quarters because we're gonna use some for like the topping. So three quarters of a tablespoon. And you can add in some more stevia or sweetener of own choice if you want it to be a little sweeter. My protein powder is pretty sweet, so this is gonna be mwah. I am a sweetness lover, so I never mind it being like extra sweet, but today this is what we're doing. And then I'm gonna add a third of a cup of water. I don't count that as an ingredient. I'm sorry, but I don't. Because we're not gonna put it in the microwave for that long, I'm not gonna be putting in baking powder. All right, now we mix it. You know what's really cool that I thought about since today's Valentine's Day? Is that like, if we feel like we're lacking something in our life, or maybe even in our relationship, like We've all been in a relationship where then maybe we feel like we need something from our partner that we aren't getting, is that we can give it to ourselves. If we need more love in our life, how can we give ourselves love? If we feel like we're being misunderstood, how can we try to understand other people better? If we feel like people aren't interested in us, then how can we show other people interest? It's really funny how that works, that once we first of all start giving it to ourselves and also give it to other people, how it does come right back to us. I don't know if anyone needed to hear that today, but in case you did, Okay, now we're gonna put this in the microwave for one minute and it's already delicious. And while it's in there, we're just gonna mix up a little, a little something, mix it in this little, cause we're only using three ingredients, this, remember? So we're just gonna add a tiny little bit of protein powder and a tiny little bit of PB2, which this, by the way, no butter, but without the fat, just a tiny little bit. And then we're gonna put some water in here and a tiny little bit of our Hershey's unsweetened cocoa powder. Our cake is done. Ooh. So now for our little topping, we just put a tiny little bit of water in and then we got ourselves some glazed topping. We want it to be nice and caramelly. We can spread it over our cake.
It's literally so freaking good. It's so moist. Mm, mm, mm. It has been about two hours. And our bars are ready. We're going extra with the knife. Because, mm. wow, my soul with music. Mm. Oh. oh, so good. I took so long taking the thumbnail for these, so now they're melting. I would definitely recommend like keeping them in the freezer and then just taking one out when you're ready to eat them. And don't spend like 10 minutes taking a thumbnail because then this happens and, and your finger starts freezing in it. It seriously is worth a try. If you have a sweet tooth for ice cream, this is such a good substitute. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sending you a massive hug. Please subscribe if you want to be a part of this family. Let me know below what you want me to make next and do not ever forget to give yourself so much love today. <laughs>